guys, thank you so much for all the love and the support I got on my first video. I really appreciate you guys. So please continue to like, share, subscribe, you know, make sure you send it to your friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your wife, your side chick, the matey, everybody, right? So everybody, it's definitely family friendly, you know, everyone can look, watch, learn, you know, and even just for entertainment, okay? So we are back in my kitchen. I know, I know we got a different angle, you know, we got a different view, right? Okay, so today I will be making some curry chicken, rice and peas, and I'm going to make breadfruit. All right, guys, so I prepped some of the stuff already. The chicken is already seasoned. It's in the fridge. It's um, ready for it to cook and I already pre-cooked some peas so let's just get into it I'm going to start off with my chicken because you know the chicken takes a bit longer to cook than the rice and peas so i'm going to just start with my chicken and then i'm going to put my rice and peas on and then i'm going to peel my breadfruit and fry some let's go all right guys so we are here with the curry chicken it's already seasoned look at that oh my goodness if you could smell what i'm smelling right now as i took the lid off oh Oh my goodness, this smells so good. So we're gonna go over to the pot. It's hot. So we're gonna go over and pop our chicken in. Let's go. So when you're doing the curry chicken, you could add a little bit of oil. Use olive oil, vegetable oil, any type of oil you like, but today I'm using avocado oil. I'm gonna just put a little bit, just drizzle a little bit in the pot. We don't want too much because you know we don't want our food to be oily so we're just drizzling some in the bottom of the pot so it could help to you know cook the meat so that would be like a probably a tablespoon or two tablespoons if you like um so yeah so i'm gonna pop the chicken in the pot is hot all right guys so when i'm cooking curry even though i already have curry on the chicken itself I do like to burn some curry in the pot that's just the way how I grew up knowing how to cook curry from my mom so you know she curries the chicken but you know put a little in the pot to burn it you know just to give it more flavor so that's what I'm about to do just burn some curry <music> for my rice is on I'm going to put some salt in the water so so this much salt I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the water and 
a way how you could check to know if you have enough salt in your water so the way how my mom taught me is that you just tip a little in your hand and taste it and if you know how the ocean tastes then that's how it tastes right you know how the ocean water tastes a bit salty that's how the water is supposed to taste you know it's not supposed to be like oh my god it's salty salty but you know how you know seawater is not like super salty it's just salty so that's how you want your water to taste and that's the perfect amount of salt for your rice so i'm just gonna cover it and let it come to a boil and in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and work on the bread fruit. all right guys so we have our bread fruits here i already roast them i'm just gonna use a little knife and peel it so So, look at this. So, this water is going to make the chicken sauce thick. Okay? So, it's just coming together. We're going to just leave it, cover it up. And our rice water. So, we're going to go ahead and add butter to the water. So I do use avocado butter. Prepped peas. So it's already cooked, pressured. So this is how it looks. I'm just going to add it to the water. Right. We will be adding coconut milk, braised coconut milk to the water. You could either add it, you could either add it straight from the packet or you could add it to water. All right guys, so this is the coconut milk. I added water to it, so I'm just gonna mix it up. If you're cooking like a big pot, you could add the entire packet. If you're not doing like a big pot like just use half the packet and just put half back. Alright? So you don't want a lot of water to mix it. You just need enough to dissolve the coconut milk. Right? Alright, so we're going to add the coconut milk to our rice pot. Just gonna pour that in there. Oh, look how creamy that is. Just gonna give that a quick stir. If you don't have peas you could always use the one in the tin it doesn't give you this beautiful red color um but the, i think the color in the tin is kind of darker and doesn't it doesn't really you know gives the rice a pretty color so we're gonna finish seasoning our rice and peas water so i'll be adding just a little bit of ginger just for flavor, I'm going to use this amount of ginger. I'm going to crush it. So it's going to be crushed. As you guys know, I'm Jamaican. Jamaican. So we season everything, okay? So these are the additional seasonings that will be going into the rice. So I'm just gonna cut the root off the scallion and just clean it up a little. Just put this in the trash and we'll rinse these. So this is thyme, scallion, garlic, onion, and pepper. We're just gonna squeeze the pepper like this. Squeeze the pepper to release the flavor. And we're gonna use the knife and we're just gonna 
crush the garlic like that and then we're gonna use the back of the knife like here and we're gonna just use it to you know, just release the flavor from the scallion right so we're gonna add these to the pot see the rice under the water but my water is really creamy so you can't really see it but yeah so I'm gonna put a bag in my rice so it can help it steam um, you could use cling wrap foil paper um, regular plastic bag but I'm using in Jamaica we call them scandal bag okay, so that's what I'm using it's already washed if I'm not sure if you can see the water dripping off, but it's washed, it's clean. I'm just gonna put it in there like this. And I'm just gonna cover it. And I'm going to turn it down so it could steam. So let's go back to the chicken. So our chicken juice is ready so now we're going to add water to the chicken you know so it could produce more gravy but so it could help the chicken get thicker we're going to add some Irish potato all right I guess I do have my Irish potato you could either use a knife or a vegetable peeler I'll be using the vegetable peeler to just peel the potato Yummy. Alright, so 
We're just gonna add the sweet pepper and then give it like two minutes and then it's done. And the rice is still over here cooking. I don't wanna remove the top. As I said, the steam is what cooks the rice. So I don't wanna remove the top just yet. So we're gonna finish up the chicken and then I'm going to look at the rice, okay? So let's go. how shelly this is it's not sticking together or nothing and it's well cooked we are going to add the breadfruit to the oil so much for watching i really do appreciate the love and the support again please remember to like share comment and subscribe bye